Hey guys, this is Li Xin. In the last video, we talked about how to choose colors from reference photos. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys five tips about the color. First of all, I want to let you know that in fact I'm a colorblind. If you have the same problem like me, don't worry about it. If you know the rules of color, manage color, and use color won't be a problem, I think. And uh, don't be afraid. Don't lose your confidence. When you learn the rules, it will become easy. Because uh, as my experience, when I was a kid, you know, uh, when I was in the high school, I when I know I am colorblind, I am afraid uh, to use color, and uh, I'm, I I become like a hater doing some color practice. Actually, this is not good. So don't be afraid. Don't lose your confidence. And uh, so, actually, I received some questions about the color from my followers on Weibo, and I would like to talk about some common problem first. Uh, as I know, here is some uh, common problem that you may happen all the time. First, dirty color. Second. How to match the color when creating artwork, and uh, how to get a color reference. Third, how to create your own color palette, and uh, how to master the color changes and the different light and shadows. The last one will be uh, how to control the color saturation. So, uh, with those common questions, first of all, I would like to let you guys know many of my friends and the teachers have told me that in many cases the problem of color is related to value. If your artwork has the right value, then your color won't be a big problem, and the color actually has a tendency of personal style. Under the style, there is a uh, no correct color. If we define it according to the rules of nature, when we will have the right nature color rules. So I'm gonna use a few of my artwork uh, as ex uh, examples to explain those kind of issues and uh, let you know how to fix or uh, check your problem. Uh, uh, first, uh, let's check some examples. So this is one of my uh, artwork like practice. So uh, the first of the first things we need to talk about is the dirty color, right? So we we actually know we usually say the color is dirty. In fact, there is no problem with the color. The color is I think the color is okay. Um, the problem actually is your value. Uh, so let's take a look. So right now, actually, if I put uh, this texture on the artwork, you will see actually the color become dirty, right? I can change a little bit, uh, you know, uh, saturation, hue. You will see a lot of dirty color, blue or red, you see, right? So, um, when we can if, uh, if we have this problem, what should we do, right? So the best way is like you can always check the value. How to check the value? You can open a uh, hue and uh, color, a uh, uh, hue and uh, saturation uh, tool on the top of the layer. Then you can uh, choose the, make the saturation. I mean, like uh, totally like. Uh, um, can see the color, so you will see the value actually uh, can help you to um, to understand the most important things about color. So if you doing your artwork, you are not sh not sure about your value, not sure about your color is correct or not. You can use this way, you know, right. Because if you have this dirty color on the top, then you check it, you will find oh, the value is very wrong, and uh, the transition or the 
uh, face is become very dirty. So the, this is not the color problem. This is the value problem. So this is the uh, mm, first tip I want to give to you is like uh, you can always, uh, I mean, when you're doing an artwork, you can always put a few uh, satur saturation tools on the top of the layer. And you can and uh, mm, check the check your artwork all the time. So um, yeah, it's really help. This is this will be the first tip. Second, uh, secondary, uh, let's talk about the most uh, common mistake you will make. It's about the brightness. Why I mention this again? Because it, uh, it's really easy to ignore it. And. Uh, <coughs> And most art, most of artists choose the hue and the saturation, and they feel finish it because the hue is the easiest to choose. This gives you the illusion that you have overlooked the most important things: brightness, because brightness is directly related to value. So make sure you spend more patience on bright brightness when choosing a color, not only about hue. This is the second, uh, second uh, tip. So you can see if, um, if we choose the color, most artists they will choose like, uh, 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 okay, if I saw this is uh, yellow, you know, they choose the color, they will choose the color like this, you know, okay, yellow, 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 yellow. So this is, most of artists they just choose like this. They won't pay attention on the uh, brightness. But the most important thing is actually is brightness. Because if the brightness is wrong, you can see if I check the value, you see, this is with 69, this one will be 50, right? So don't just only focus on the mm, hue and or saturation. The most important thing is, is brightness. Remember this, okay? This is the second time I mentioned this. Um, the third tip is about color creating and matching. How do we get some color inspiration when we doing custom design or illustration, or how to edit more different color from existing reference? In fact, we can try, you know, uh, make some changes in our local colors to find out more color. For example, you see, if I have this photo reference, then I want to choose another color. First of all, I will need to choose a color by myself, right? So if we have this color, we choose, we can always move the HSB a little bit, you know, a little bit of sad uh, hue, maybe a little bit of yellow, you see, a little bit of yellow is okay. A little bit of, you know, saturation is okay. Or it's okay, right? So, or a little bit, you know, brightness. But be sure that you, the brightness is very important. If you, uh, if you change a lot of brightness, the value is wrong. So, sometimes I will recommend you don't don't do anything about the brightness. Just play with uh, hue and uh, saturation. You will get a lot of different color. You see, right now, actually, I have one, two, three, like four different color. One. Two, three, four, right? You see, this color actually looks very, very nice and uh, not dirty, right? So, um, because they don't jump too much, especially you know the you know the, the, the brightness. If you have good control on brightness, the color will be okay. Um, Another example, actually, can you know, I can mm, we can use some photos, or I can take an uh, an old artwork. This is one of my old artwork, right? I turn it into my color palette, like this. You know, don't think about this is like a uh, artwork. You can always change like this. You know, I can turn it around like this. You know. This one maybe become a ground. So um, don't think this is like a, 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 an artwork or a photo. Just think about this is a color palette. 
So, you know, with this kind of uh, color palette, I can create a lot of different uh, uh, things. So I have this color palette. I can always use the color from this old artwork. So you see, right now I have some different color. Then I can choose uh, from here, right, from here. Right, then I have this like a kind of uh, um, rough sketch. So I can, based on this, I can create some character, right? Maybe, you know, I can also think about the time, maybe it's in the sunset, have a very strong, warm color. Right? Maybe this is a lake, you know, you see, we can see the uh, shadow, right? Oh, no, not shadow, <laughs> it's the human in the water, right? And uh, we can see the color effect on the environment. Then maybe I can, we can put a, put a sun over there. All right, think about maybe uh, the, the, the reflection from sky, you know, it's kind of a little bit gray or blue, right, or pink. Give us some simple like a pose, right? You know, okay, this is not like a, a, a serious sketch. I just uh, use this uh, like as an example to let you know an old artwork can be a interesting uh, color pattern, right? So, um, um, then the, the next trick will be about uh, light source. Maybe you ask, uh, uh, aren't, we, aren't we talk about color? In fact, the color change is based on the light source. We cannot talk about color without light. Without a light, there is no color, and the world will, you know, it's like black. With color, we can see different objects, different colors. So when you're doing color experience, make sure you think about the color of light, the, the distance of the color, you know. The strength of the light, the distance of the light. <laughs> this will help you reach your color. So, for example, you know, uh, I made some simple ball here. You can see that uh, the first uh, is about. Um, you can see different kind of uh, strengths of the color. This one is very strong light source. This one is very weak. And uh, you can think about uh, maybe the your object have the local color like uh, yellow, right? If you have the yellow as a local color, if the light is cold, cold light, you see the color change changes. And if uh, if the environment color is changed, like this environment become red, you see the local color become a little bit red, right? And if then the color change. If we use a very warm color like uh, um, yellow, you see, very interesting. And if we have another light source like a very cold light, you see. So basically, you can think about these three things. First, the the, the color, uh, the light, the light how it's strong, right? Second, the color have uh, the light have some color or not, you know. Uh, third. Think about the environment. Maybe the environment have some like uh, uh, warm color or cold color, and then maybe this like object has several different like uh, color from different angle, right? So this can make your artwork make the color more interesting, right? So you see this one. We have the environment color. We have two different light source, right? So then we can try to put another like a refraction light, you know, a little bit maybe warm here. 
right? So this one is very interesting. Maybe we can put a highlight. So you see this one, we almost have like all color <laughs> on this object, right? It's really interesting. Think about like this way. Don't think about just the, uh, uh, the object. Think about the environment, light, how to relate everything, how to how to uh, uh, they how to uh, relate it to each other, how to connect it with each other. Okay, and uh, the last trick actually, um, um, I wanted to share with you is like um, about a cool, cool and warm color and the color contrast. Remember to observe and think more. And for example, I, if I painting these hands, you know, uh, when I be relaxed, the color of these hands may be, you know, maybe it's warm. But when you catch your fists, you will find that this area, you know, this area, this area, bone area, right? So, and uh, the blood goes to another place. So this area maybe is like a cold color, and this another area maybe become warm, right? If the environment is gray, then the reflection, you know, about light, maybe this area, it will be like uh, gray. So we have a cold color, warm color, and uh, gray, right? Interesting. So a lot of artists actually they don't know about this or they didn't pay attention on to to uh, observe these kind of things and also you know uh, we have different uh, kind of like skin color and uh, different different uh, like uh, uh, body type so the color actually can be very different so make sure you will always you know uh, observe the object uh, your reference and uh, maybe sometimes the reference is just reference based on this reference you can think about in the real life what will happen and uh, um, with your with the experience i think it will make you find the right way to to learn how to use color or know the color rules um, all right, this is the five tips that I want to share with you. I hope it will help you. Uh, if you have any other question or suggestion, you can leave a comment below this video. If you find it useful, you know, please share with your friends. Uh, if you want, you can subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you for your support. See you next time.